Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Uh, this is Kevin Hopper. Uh, I'm currently working on a project that uh, where the layout artist is giving me these layouts where I have to replace this low quality stuff with some high res uh, object and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so I made uh, a little script to help me to do that a little bit faster. Um, this script probably doesn't work for everybody, but for this particular situation, it saved me a lot of time. So I thought I'll share it. Uh, so uh, he'll give me the scene with all these uh, rocks placed everywhere, but you can see that they are very low quality. And then I have some uh, high res rocks, um, like V ray meshes, uh, uh, V ray proxies, right? Um, that look a little like this and um, so what I can go what I can do here um, what I want to do is not replace all the rocks at <clears throat> the same time because I really want to um, kind of uh, hold this processor's hand so to speak so that I can really see what's going on and make sure that everything looks uh, the way I want it to um, but I also don't want to go in here and, let's say, uh, make a copy of one of these rocks and then drag it over there and then rescale it and then rotate it in a random direction so that it looks different from the other rocks and so on and so forth because it's quite a, a tedious process. So I made this very, very simple script called um, Super Duper Rock Replacer 2000 Elite. And you, all you do is you pick uh, the elements that you would like to place uh, and these colors change based on the wire color of the object that you are picking. Right? So um, you know exactly which rock you are placing besides that the name is right there. We have proxy 01 and so on and so forth. And then you pick the object that you would like to replace and you just click on place and it will place a, a, a one of the Vera proxies within uh, uh, where that current rock is and then it will uh, rotate it in a random direction and then it will scale it to the um, boundary box of the, of the current of the of the dummy rock so if you're not happy with the results um, it looks too, a little bit too close to another one or something like that. You can just click on redo and you can try again and it will give it a different random rotation. Uh, you could also click on redo and you could click on place for another rock if you, if you think another rock looks better in that position. And then you can click on keep and it will delete the dummy. Okay, so you can just go in here and uh, just uh, click place and keep and place and keep so that you can really guide this process to make sure that everything looks uh, nice, you know. And of course, uh, save a lot of time. Yep, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, process and uh, I'm going to put the link for the script in the description of the video. It's just down below, so uh, good luck.